Thank you guys for 3,700 subscribers. You guys are the best. Anyway, let's start the reaction. But the hives were mocking me. The previous ones were teasers. This time they were dishing up the main course. Everything was put into mega gear, served up oh, on the grill shit. of Gordon Ramsay himself. Gordon Ramsay! Like this, bit. <laughs> Before the video begins, I just want to say shout out to my second channel because I'm trying to grow that channel. So, guys, please subscribe to that channel and subscribe to SMR Gaming because he made my outro. So, anyway, let's start the video. Brussels and Dixon's and really reacting the worst day that's ever happened to me by Jaden Animation. They uploaded, she uploaded a new video, we're gonna run to it, and I just said today. Yeah, she uploaded a new video for the graphic. So, T, what is the worst thing that's ever happened to me? Tell me in the comments what has ever happened. What was the worst thing that has ever happened to you guys? For me, I'm not really sure. Where well, people ask me questions on YouTube, I just come to this is going to be so I want to sign my first one. Like, yeah. So, let's get to the video in uh, three, a two, one, we are uh, back on your cheese. So, imagine this it's Christmas Eve. You're getting ready for bed, and everything is prepared for the perfect Christmas morning. You know, Chestnuts presents. Are roasting on an open fire. The Chestnuts. cookies are out. The house is silent and calm. Everyone's Everyone has sleep. standard things on their Christmas list puppies, Nintendo Switches. Her father to finally find milk but yours is different all your life you've loved and have been fascinated by insects you were teased in school for catching ladybugs in the bushes ostracized from everyone for gleefully watching the grasshoppers you've spent that was never me to repress your love for bugs but you're finally embracing it this year is different you're that was that was never me the one thing that, that was... brings you joy in life ants you tuck yourself into bed in the early morning to see if your wish comes true. And as you're thinking about parenting your future aunts, your eyelids feel heavy as you drift off to sleep. You don't know how many hours have passed, but you're suddenly awakened by a strange sensation. Your body is burning, flaring up, itching is everywhere. It? The worst itching you've ever experienced oh. in your life. Oh, rash. Is it a Christmas miracle? Did you finally receive the ants you were desperately hoping for? Your Maybe skin is, is it? getting more and more itchy by the second you're in the is, most. Is, is it a rash from the ants? Because he, she actually, he actually gets pain. ants. No doubt about it. Ants all over. You rip open the sheets to find, oh, it's not a whole colony of ants attacking you. What is that? It? It's hives. So back to me. I've never had hives until oh, last. Oh, I thought it was. And I it thought was it was just a rash. That never physically happened to me. Around the night of the twenty-first, I was relaxing and playing video games on my couch. Ari was on me because it's snuggly and nice. But about an hour or so in, I started feeling itchy around my neck and shoulders where he'd been sitting. I didn't think much of it, but when I was getting ready for bed, I realized the area that was itchy was actually kind of red. On paper, that seems a bit like. Huh, that's not really normal, but you scratch yourself all the time and get a bit red. I just thought, eh, Ari's nails are probably a bit too long and irritated my skin. I'll have mm. to cut them tomorrow. And left it at that. 4 a.m., I'm woken up by more itchy. I itched it, and it got double itchy. Well, that doesn't seem right. I went to the bathroom to see what was up, and the area that was irritated before was even more red, and maybe a bit bigger this time. Oh, uh, shit. I can't remember. It was 4 a.m. How does like, people uh, get even get hives, so actually? Crazy and went back to bed. I mean, there wasn't anything I could do about it. I didn't have any anti-itch cream or anything. All I've got is an expired bottle of mini ibuprofens and a dried out cleaning wipe. The next morning right. after a bad night's sleep, I got out of bed and whoop, it spread to my back. Yep, this is not good. Did I do anything about it? Nope. I was like, whoop, I sure hope this cures itself somehow. I'm gonna go to work now. But after like an hour of sweating from discomfort and getting nothing done, I decided, yeah, I should probably go to urgent care. So I went to urgent a care. hospital. Have you eaten anything new or that you're allergic to? Mm. No. Have you taken any medication that's new or you're allergic to? No. Have you been bitten by any bugs you might be allergic to? Maybe. No. Hmm. 
It looks like dermatitis. So I got a dermatitis diagnosis, picked up the pills and lotion he prescribed. What's dermatitis? By the time yeah, I, I need to search out what so some of these things are, because like I don't know what some of these I are. To my room and I know what a titus is, I just don't know. I started hoping I would feel better soon. All I could do was lay on my bed and do nothing, because every time I moved or touched something, it would send shocks of pain and irritation down my body and I preferred not to have that. I decided to call my friend to tell them what was happening to keep my mind off everything and use them for moral support because I was going crazy. After maybe an hour, I was like, actually, I think I feel absolutely worse. Everywhere I put the lotion was even more red and itchy. It was oh my spreading God. my legs and hands, and I felt like I provoked the devil. This must be the car. That was like blood, actually. I Holy friend, shit. I'm in so much pain and discomfort, I can't think straight, and I've been sitting on the floor not being able to move for 30 minutes, what should I do? Go to the hospital? You think so? Yes, Thank go you. to the hospital. I don't know. Thank Maybe you, that's I what I was like saying. Go just go to the hospital. I arrived at the hospital and hobbled in the best I could because the feeling of my shoes and clothes rubbing against my skin made me want to cry. They were really busy, so I had to sit on a bench in a hallway for about an hour. I was finally taken to a bed, given a shot along with a mystery pill, and about 40 minutes later, mm. I felt better. Okay. But they kept me there for four more hours just to be safe. By the time I got home, I was sighing with relief. It felt so good to not be in total body pain and wanting to claw my skin off. I'd forgotten that feeling. The hospital gave me a new prescription because they were like, pretty sure you have hives, not dermatitis. But I didn't get it filled because it was mm. late and I figured I could just get the new medication tomorrow since I was feeling all right. The good thing was I was feeling better and had the right diagnosis. But the scary thing that got me worried was this all started when Ari was on me. The flare-up started That's because in the Ari gave you it? Sitting on the other mm. So if I hadn't eaten or done anything it's different from Ari. my usual day-to-day -day life, could that mean I developed a really bad allergic reaction to him? If he did, he had to uh, get rid of him. So that terrified me a bit. Anyways, I had plans to see my family for Christmas and was worried that I'd have to miss my flight because of this, but things seemed all good now. 1 a.m., woke up, itchy. It was back and ready to oh, absolutely no. kick my teeth in. I wasn't freed from this hive's curse. I'd only escaped its grasp for a few hours. Oh my it god! Wasn't its worst yet, but I knew it wouldn't take long to get there, so I raced to the nearest 24-hour pharmacy to pick up my new prescription, took it, and then just got an Uber to the airport because I couldn't sleep. Early flight? Not really. I'm just getting there early. <laughs> well, it's always good to be early for flights. When is it? Right. 3 p.m. Yeah, what time is it? I tried to get a bit of sleep in the airport, but eh, Bruh, it didn't work. Uh, the good thing was that the prescription was doing a relatively good job at keeping back the hives. I could still feel the itchy, but it was like muffled, if that makes sense. It was, I got on my it was you know, a little itchy. Yeah. I lived in Arizona to my very calm parents who are like, hives? Oh, are you okay? How'd you get hives? Are you okay? The hives had been manageable the whole day until I was getting ready to go to bed. Oh and my god. started flaring up again. This time worse Damn than ever. I thought I'd experienced pain before, but the hives were mocking me. The previous ones were teasers. This time they were dishing up the main course. Everything was put into mega gear, served up oh, on the grill shit. of Gordon Ramsay himself. Gordon Ramsay! Like this bit! <laughs> Off to the hospital we went. Well, She's about to say bitch. We arrived at a normal hospital first, and by the time we arrived, I could barely walk. I was in so much pain and agony. I shuffled in, hunched over like I was 95 years old and about to just fall over and turn to dust immediately. And just also, die. I was actually crying at this point. No. Oh, I'm gonna cry. This hurts. Boo hoo. Nah. This time was like, yeah, time to cry now. I wasn't having a good time. We sat there for maybe 40 minutes and no one was helping us. So my dad asked how long they estimated the wait would be, to which they said an hour. So we were like, uh, my dad decided to take me to a local urgent care. We've been here for 49 minutes. There. It was more we're familiar, not waiting another hour. Also probably less busy. We we're not waiting. We had a bit of a wait, but I was finally admitted into a room. The doctor walked in and was like, yep, looks like hives stuck me with an epi pen i'm lucky enough to not have any really bad allergies like peanuts or something i know a good amount of people say who are like, oh, oh mr peanut dust fragment of a peanut my body will just give up on me so they have an epi pen on them at all times i'm allergic to cats but they just make me sneeze so i've never experienced the magic of an epi pen before and I'm my like, god i'm fine with cats was like jesus just being injected straight into my <laughs> jesus like seconds my body started feeling so better. basically jesus is poking with his nails and then you feel better if you've never almost 
died from an allergic reaction. I totally hope you have one just so you can experience the magic of an EpiPen. Don't jinx it. I will never have I mean, one. I mean, I hope it? you never almost die. But I'm just saying, if you do, anyway, problem solved. The doctor didn't really you say anything die, else. Bitch? He kind of just gave me the EpiPen and sent me on my way when he saw I was doing better. Which, fair enough. I went to bed in relief. Finally, it was all over. I can have a nice Christmas after. Did it come back? Because this the and live on in peace. Did it come? Woke up. Hives all over. Ah, it came back. I wanted to just close my eyes again, and perish. Oh, oh, this one. This was the worst it had ever been. I didn't even know it was possible to experience. I need to know how how does hives work? Pain. I don't. I was in awe. It's amazing how absolutely torturous this pain is right now, and I haven't even been stabbed. The day before, when I said it was in Mega Gear and the main course, mm, I was mm, kidding. This was one of those they give you the appetizers and the main course, but surprise, the dessert is Punch. a knuckle sandwich. Knuckle All sandwich, the bitch. in the world were like, this one, let's get this one. Let's get this bitch. Oh, and red. My mom looked at me right before we were about to go to urgent care, like, and her face was like, I don't think there's any words that could describe how absolutely abhorrent and atrocious I felt. The itchiness was so extreme, it felt like needles all over. Every time something just grazed my skin, it felt like, yep, this is, it's time yep, to die. Yep. See y'all later. Yep, I'm not the guy. I'm not the go to heaven. Looked like a boiled hey, diseased God. shrimp. This time we got Dr. Cruz, our family friend I mentioned earlier. Dr. Cruz. Nice and caring and an amazing doctor to go along with it. First of all, I got another EpiPen. Yay. And then he prescribed Yay. me like four new medications, none of which I remember the names of, but one of them was steroids. Steroids. I say I've been on steroids before. So yeah. I can probably beat you all in football now. I'll cut the fat and just say the medications that Dr. Um, prescribed me were it. They were the ones that blocked the hives and helped me. I gotta recover. see I've what, been what was for the those first time in prescriptions. Three days, and they never came back after that. I took some blood tests Let's and go. it turns out I didn't test positive in any allergic reactions they looked for. I was able to come home and Ari didn't make me flare up, so I wasn't allergic to him. That was a huge relief. I had to seriously consider if I would have to get rid of of Ari if he was the one giving me hives because I just couldn't live with hives that extreme. Hmm. But it wasn't, so we're good. The only thing we could conclude was it was just caused by a huge buildup of stress. I'd been really busy stress? and burnt out from a bunch of conventions and traveling up until oh. that point, so they said, yeah, stress combined with an immune system glitch is probably what caused it. Hmm. We don't know what else it could be. And we're like, all right. And I haven't had hives since. So moral of the story is Aww. take breaks before your immune system turns on you. Because let me tell you, your immune system does not hold back. Just wanted to make this clear. Um. I'm all good now. <laughs> this happened back in December, and I've been fine ever since. Yeah, I'm so going far. to see well what, convention burnout as how, well. what, what are the causes of hives. Canceled, but hey, it works. But yeah, in the future, I think I'm going to have to stop going to some conventions just because it's getting more and more hard to handle them. I enjoy being able to see and meet you guys in person, mm. but yeah, it's getting really hard for me because there are a lot to handle for me mentally and physically. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully it didn't freak you out or anything. I think the reason I hated hives so much is because itchiness it's just... is something I cannot handle. I much prefer being Yeah, cuz then you're going to keep itching and then, you know, itchiness. it's going to keep itching and itching cuz you're irritating it, irritating uh, it. Let me know what you prefer. All right, see you later. So, guys, this video um yeah, guys, so tell me if you ever have hives. Um so wait up, let's look at the names of those prescriptions again if y'all know what i mean benzo gazal is pam benzo gazal is it pam i don't know if i just said that right liz i know for tina men no. false p hits duo tour vest 80 do all this it something yeah some of these are words <laughs> they're hard to say actually these sound like some from another language so um yeah i never took stories because i'm 18 so 
of course, yeah. See you guys, this is going to be episode 5, we'll update it anyway, kind of see you guys, this is video, um, yeah, I'm about to see what are the causes of hives real quick, see how much this is up on YouTube, yeah, see you guys, this is video, and I'll see you guys later, bye, bye-bye!